Hello and welcome back. We're doing a Pokemon Japanese Sun Box. And we'll uh, just get it right into it real quick. Let me unwrap this real quick. All right, come on, open up you. There we go. All right, so if I can get the right side, there we go. Pokemon Sun. If I can open it again. I think last time I ripped it. <laughs> Come on, you. There we go. Boom. And I'm pretty sure there's a right way to do this. Let's see if I can figure it out. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. So today we're going to be doing just half like last time. This will be a two-video series. And I missed one. Oh, I missed like a couple. There we go. So I'll pop that over to the side here. So we'll, uh, I'll cut all these real quick and we'll get to it. Let's try the half cuts this time. All right. I'm sure this will work. I mean, I'm, I'm not 100%, but we'll give it a shot. It seemed to work well last time I did it. Yeah, it's good. Makes it a little easier. And it cuts down on clipping costs as well. Boop -a -doo. Oh, come on. Oh, I just cut all the cards. All right, get those out of the way. And we will get started. Again, with the Japanese packs, there are only the five cards. And it looks like this one doesn't have any uh, sheets. Last time I had check sheets. And we'll start things off with a Golduck, an Eevee, a Shelder, a Cutie Fly, and... Oh, nice. First card off the bat is a Hollow... Alolan Doug Trio. Get these out of the way here. All right. See, this one had it. I'm surprised the other one didn't have it. Maybe that means only the good cards are in those packs. I guess we'll find out. We have a Beware, a Alolan, wow, Meowth, a Pukimuku, a Paris, and we have a Cosmium. Nothing that good. Oh man, these, some of these cards did not work at all. All right, one to the front, which is typical in the Japanese packs for the rare to be at the back now. We have a Torkoal, that is great artwork. We have a Skarmory, and we have a, I don't remember her name. I think it's like Lima or L Lima Beans, something like that. Who knows? Probably Lima Beans. That's what I'm going to call her from now on. All right, another pack down. We have a, I think that's a Timer Ball. They have a Dupider, great card. We have a Passimian, I think, or Passiman, whatever. We have that guy, and we have, oh, nice! We have a Gumshoes GX. That is great. Love the artwork on these as well. The GXs they did a really good job with. And, boom, not a bad start. Let's continue. See, there's a check sheet. Yeah, it's weird. Some of the packs don't have them. Some of them do. It's... Interesting. We have a, I don't know, Repel, Potion, Lowland Diglett. We have a Zubat, a, I don't know his name. And we have an Alolan Persian. Good Lord, his head is huge. All right. It's a very uh, big-headed Persian. Looks like he's got mumps. All righty then. We have a Butterfree with three other Butterfree, two other Butterfrees. We have a very cool Growlithe. We have a don't know what that is. I forget his name. That's a mini crocodile. And we have nice, nice, nice to Toxapex, Toxapex, something like that. The names I'm still unfamiliar with. But we'll work on that. We have an Arachnoquid, a Wishy Washy. He is depressed. All right. That's a very sad looking Wishy Washy. We have a Caterpie. We have a Stuffle, I think. And we have. Professor Kooky Guy, whose name escapes me because I forget all the names of the trainers or the, um, I guess, supports in the games. <sighs> yeah, I, I think I already did that. Eh, I guess we'll find out. We have a Crushing Hammer. We have a Psyduck. We have a Cosmog, a Lowland Meowth, and we have a, I want to say it's uh, Rabombi. I have no idea. 
Again, not too good with the names, but that's all right. All right, let's see if we can get something else, something good. We have another ball of sorts. That guy, Herdier, got a Diglett, a Dewpiter, and we have, I think that's Stoutland. Stoutland, I know you can use him to sniff out objects in the Sun and Moon games. So hopefully you can sniff out some good cards. Boom. We have another Arachnoquid, a Stuffle, Sandile, Sandalit, something like that. We have a Paris, and we have, oh, nice, an Espeon GX. That is great. Fantastic. I have the Secret Rare, es good Lord, Umbreon from the Moon Box, so this is fantastic. So far, not too bad. Off to a good start. Two GXs. Three hollows. I'm not too sure what the pull rates on these boxes are. But I'll be happy with anything. We have a Rodham Dex, a, another Psyduck, a Skarmory, a Pissimian, and we have a Tisserina or a Steeny. I'm not too sure which is the final evolution. I forget the names. I always, I always mix those two because they look so similar. All right. This is a Butterfree here. We have a Metapod. A wishy washy, um, young Donald Trump, and we have a crowbat that is very nice artwork. All right, let's take a look. This is our third to last pack. Oh boy, getting nervous. Give me something good, baby. We have a Persian, a Marini, a Caterpie, a Cosmog, and we have a Professor Kooky guys. Name always escapes me. Kukiao, Kukiu, something along those lines. He's a professor, though, so that's cool. Good for him, you know? All right, we have a double colorless energy. We have a, oh, man. I don't know. I was going to call him Pipla, but that's not right. We have a Growlithe. We have a Spinda. Nice, that's a cool card. And we have... There it is. I think it's T Serena. I'm not 100%. And we have the last pack here. Hopefully, get another GX or something along those lines. Hopefully, a secret rare, rainbow rare, one of the two. That'd be fantastic. We have, I'm not even too sure I have this card in English, so I don't even know what that is. We have a Cloister. We have a Makuhita. We have a Parasect. Nice. And we have. A Crocker Ruck as the last pack of the one half. Tune in next time where I open up the second half of this box. See you later.